Well, sitting here in the governor's room of uh, the Linen Hall Library in the heart of Belfast, uh, one of the most uh, important and distinguished libraries in these islands, I'm very excited that uh, the Black Star Press are issuing their uh, e-book list. Uh, and I think this is a, a significant place to, to, to talk about e-books. I also have to uh, remember uh, the uh, novel, which I think has, uh, has been very important to Blackstaff's list, December Bride by uh, Sam Hannibal, which will also be an e-book. As a boy brought up in these, I grew up loving real books, the look of them, the, the feel of them, and the sound even of the pages turning, and even the smell of them, that dusty and erudite as if all the wisdom in the world was contained therein. Possibly not in Bagel's books, but uh, you know what I mean. And then, for Christmas, a couple of years ago, my, my wife bought me one of these. Uh, and to be honest, it lay in the house for a couple of months, and then one of the guys down at the Flying Club pointed out that I could get loads of classics free on it. Free is a word which speaks to my heart. So I've now got it loaded up with uh, Huckleberry Finn, Ivanhoe, Black Beauty, and Robin Hood, and all the books I thought I'd read as a kid but never got around to. So I'm delighted that Blackstaff Press are now publishing one of my books, The Road to Gobbler's Knob, as an e-book to join that digital throng. Uh, and I'm still going to go on reading these, but there's a place in the world for these, especially when you're, you're travelling. And you know what? If the worst comes to the worst, you can always use this as a bookmark for this. I'm a fairly recent, a pretty recent convert to e-books. I was given a, a copy of a Kindle by my children for a birthday, and I thought, what am I going to do with this? and very quickly discovered that it became my backup library. You see, I even have it in my hand because it looks and feels like a book. And on it I have all my Jane Austen, my Charlotte Bronte, my Dickens, and quite a few modern things as well. And very soon I'll be able to have my own book, Mailu and Cass, about Jane Austen's nieces in Ireland. And what I really think about it, fascinating about it, is I think that Jane Austen, who was herself so very interested, in what was happening in the last years of her life, what was happening in tourism and development and improvement. I think if she were around today, she would be embracing, as it were, e-books. I'm thrilled that uh, Blackstaff are producing an e-book list because oh, I'm very, I feel very privileged to be in the first wave, as it were, because um, I put a fair amount of effort into increasing and uh, maintaining the digital footprint, as it were, of the Blue Cabin. So. Um, you know, through blogging and, and social networking. So I think that um, a digital version of the book will, will dovetail very nicely into that effort. It's one of the few areas where the author has a degree of control, so um, bring it on is what I say. Um, I, from the point of view of a reader, um, I must admit I haven't yet joined the revolution. I don't, I don't have a, an e-book reader, but um, more and more of my friends do, so uh, that's the direction we're going and uh, I feel very happy to be a part of it. So uh, thanks very much to Blackstaff for including me. I'm delighted that Blackstaff have launched their ebook uh, side of the business and are moving into a more digital version of what they do. Uh, it's been an extremely important part of my business uh, and existingly within the golf business book that I've got, we have a web address directly linking through. And what I like about the digital side, about moving towards a more ebook type of format is you get much better interaction between the, the, between the author and the end reader. So you can tend to continue to build the platform. So what we've had within the, within the golf book is we've had about 20% of the customers who buy the book then link through and sign up for more information. When you're working with that in a digital perspective, it's a much easier step. It's basically clicking on the link because most of the ebook readers that are out there, most of the ways that people will be reading it digitally, will allow a much quicker click through to get more information, whether that's through to videos, whether that's you know, maps or something that's concerned with the further detail about what you're writing about. So from my perspective, it's hugely beneficial. It helps me to then continue to develop that interaction with the end reader so that whenever I'm developing developing more content or another book or any other form of content, I've got those people, I've, able to, I've engaged with them beyond the initial book and we can then, um, you know, hopefully they'll buy in the next book or whatever it else is that I'm, that I'm trying to work on. So from my perspective, yes, it's a huge benefit and I'm delighted they've moved that way. The terror for every writer is readers not being able to find your books. The International was out of print for a number of years. 
it's wonderful to think that there is now going to be an E version. When I was starting to write, even having a book was a great, great ambition. And now we can have e-books. One of the great things over the years about Blackstaff books has been the design of the books. And what you would hope, and what I'm sure Blackstaff are thinking about, is carrying some of that identity, that very distinctive look and experience of the Blackstaff print versions over into the e-world. And that seems to me to be a very, very exciting, very challenging thing for all publishers to do, to bring some of that uh, really enjoyable experience of the physical object of the book into the, into the e-world. I'm sure if anybody can do it, Blackstaff can do it.